Hi, welcome back to our channel, Electromotive Force. EMF. I'm Jack. I'm Costa. And today we continue with getting the electric MX-5 ready for Electricana. What are we going to do, mate? Well, there's a lot to do, Jack. Uh, it's next weekend, so we better get on it. Well, the two big jobs today are putting in the high voltage cable, which actually is the, the last bit of work that we need to do, and program the charger. We've got to put the interior back together, yep. including putting the seats back in. That'll, that'll come in handy. And the console and the console and shrouding all and the trim, all the trim, you know, all the, the things that take hours. Yep. Uh, and with regards to the high voltage cable, uh, all of this has to come out because we need to wire up, uh, cable up the motor controller. Yep. This little doobie wacky here. Way down there, yep. Down there, so that yep. does all the work. Alrighty, so let's get into it. <laughs> so what are you doing? Uh, I've just taken out the accelerator. Yep. Reconnected it all up. I've unplugged the two Tesla modules. Yep. And now I'm gonna uns I'm gonna unscrew them. And that way we'll be able to lift this Tesla module off. Yep. Then lift this whole panel off. Uh, and then get this one out. And then we'll be able to get to the motor and the motor controller. Okay. How does that sound? Hard work. But it's pretty <laughs> easy actually. Pretty quick. Yeah. It's not like pulling a uh, whole motor out no, no, or an engine out of a car. So, what we've got is the uh, where the battery used to live. This is one stand bit of timber and all it's doing is it's insulating the top battery from the bottom battery and giving us a nice firm platform for everything to stay nice and square. So why do we like timber? Uh, well, number one, timber doesn't conduct electricity. Well, why aren't we scared of catching fire? Because if these batteries ignite, which they're very, very unlikely to do, but if they do, they make their own oxygen and they run hot enough to melt steel. So we don't really care about a little bit of timber burning. So here we have an empty bay, minus the batteries. Look, there's a motor. Yes, electric motor, very good. Ooh, not engine, it's not, not engine. an engine bay anymore, it's a motor bay. It's a motor bay. There's the controller, accelerator assembly just here. Yep, so we're actually going to be, off. yep, so we're actually going to be wiring up the motor today. Wow, look at that. What um, spec motor is this, mate? Uh, it's a warp nine. Um, it's a warp field. 9 inch series wound DC motor. Excellent. So it means that there's actual commutation between positive and uh, the motor. What does that mean? It means that rather than using electromagnetic force to, uh, to impart energy yep. to the motor, it actually makes a physical connection. This, this is the vacuum pump. So it's just and another way of creating vacuum so your um, power assisted brakes work. That's exactly right, yeah. So we've got rid of an engine and we have an electric motor. Tell us about it, mate. It's connected to the gearbox somehow. How'd you do that? Yeah, look, pretty easy. Uh, there's an adapter plate here. Uh, the motor actually it connects to the, uh, the adapter plate that's bolts on the inside of this that bolt into the motor. Yep. And, uh, and the adapter plate then bolts onto the gearbox. The standard MX-5 gearbox? Standard MX-5 gearbox. So from here back, it's all MX-5. Yep. Um, and including the clutch, so the, the standard clutch is in there. If we had time, and we may do this in the future, we should swap out the... Uh, the flywheel. We should swap out the flywheel for, uh, for something that's much, 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 much lighter, even lighter than a racing flywheel. And there's, there's this big Anderson plug that uh, goes between the battery packs in the motor bay um, to the back, so it links the circuit. Yeah, that's right. So the idea here is that you can easily break the circuit Yep. without having to actually unbolt anything. Yep. And okay. then you've isolated the front from the back. So we've decided we're gonna have a length of cable for 
negative to, uh, to the negative part of the motor. Nicely cribbed lug. That's definitely not going anywhere. The lugs are nice clean. These are brand new mineral turks, but just in case they've built up any film, and then some conductive grease. There's a high voltage, high current, you know that joke? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, really. That helps provide the electromotive force. Indeed. And don't forget, on your washers, so, progress. Yes. What have we done? Well, we've uh, cabled a lot of things in, Jack. So, uh, so the motor's cabled in. As you can see, negative goes to negative on the controller. Positive goes to positive on the controller. And positive will also end up going off the control board feed. So the correct flow, sorry, Jack, I'll just start <laughs> again. The correct flow is positive from the battery through the control circuit, down through here to the motor controller. Motor controller goes to the positive and then switches the negative, which is coming from the other side of the batteries here. And we've cabled up the accelerator. That's ready to go. Yep. That's also plugged into the motor controller. Yep. As well as the warning lights that go all the way in through this blue cable to the dash. So what we've also done is Conduit everywhere, um, there, so the connectors, um, you know, we've put um, connectors everywhere we need to, the fans ran 12 volts, so we're pretty much ready to start re reconstructing. Yeah, let's assemble. We Excellent. Should, we might even be able to start her up soon. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Okay, we've got the music going in the background. It's late. We've got all the Tesla modules in. Got everything, all the connections in. We have the circuitry. Um, everything's tucked away nicely. The interior's in. I'll just turn the light on. The interior's in. Console's in. Go around the back, hey Costa? Hey, it's mate. really late. The batteries are all connected. We're missing a starting battery, which yep. is an accessories battery. There's the DC to DC. Converter. Converter, which is a power supply. Yep. Um, and we just need to cable up the Tesla modules with the Ethernet cable, yep. serial cable. Yep. And then we can put a 12 volt battery in and hopefully the car starts, mate. We have contact. We've got 121 volts according to this. Whoa, let's have a look. Get in there. Get in there. Yay, 121 volts. It is powered on. So the, that's the BMS. Just powered Can't up. See. Is this exciting, Costa? This is very exciting. <laughs> this could be good. So where are we at? Well, we've got 121 volts across the, all the uh, the batteries. So that's that's good. I'm just going to just check the BMS to make sure that we uh, that we're cabled that up correctly. Yep. And if all that goes to plan, we'll put in our trusty car battery, the 12 volt battery, so we can start the car. So click on the relays to like the starter motor, yeah. Yeah, like the starter motor, yeah, yeah. So let's have a look now. I think I've actually got to say, it feels like this has been cabled in backwards. Water Com4 is not available, so yeah, it doesn't like it. So tonight it's been a long night. What have we done, mate? 
So much, Jack. <laughs> so much. <laughs> We're pretty knackered. But anyway. Um, okay. We've made some good progress, haven't we? We made a lot of good progress. So yeah. what have we done? The, uh, the batteries are all connected. We've got 120 volts. We've seen that and it's safe. The interior is in. The motor controller is connected to the motor. The motor controller is connected to the motor. Tidied everything up, conduit everywhere, made it safe. The rear of the car is almost there. It just needs to be tidied up and prettied up. Yep. Um, the only other thing is uh, we just couldn't get it across the line. We've got a bit of a gremlin in the system. Most of the things are talking. So we know that the batteries are working, they're connected, but we don't see that on the battery management system. So once the battery management system is talking to us, we'll, we can drive the car with confidence. Technically, we could drive it now, but uh, we don't want to drive it without the uh, battery management system talking to us. Safety so first. It's, a it's quarter past midnight. Uh, we're just going to have to stop and uh, reconvene when we've got some more brake power. Anyway, thank you, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Hopefully with some better news. See ya. So we're fitting the, um, the what to the what? Yeah, you're making your cable. I make your cable. So you'll see this covered in electrical tape. There's a reason for this. <laughs> does it conduct? Yeah, it doesn't conduct, but how do we find out? Yeah. <laughs> There's only one way to find out, you know the drill. What's in your hand? Wire cutters. That looks... <laughs> get, get in that there, looks there, like mate. a torture tool. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> <laughs>